I placed another Abercrombie order. I don't know what it is. Every time I go on their website, I just, I find the cutest stuff. I know how it fits my body. I'm pretty good with the sizing when I'm ordering and it's pretty spot on almost every single time. There's been a few times where I've ordered and I've needed other sizes, but I've ordered enough to kind of know the sizing or what sizing I like and all of that. So I just got a couple of things, so I thought I would share that with you guys today. First being this long sleeve shirt here. I have it tucked into some new jeans that I also picked up. But I like this because it has the little thumb hole, which I think is really nice when it's super cold because it kind of covers your hands and just kind of provides a little bit more of that warmth, but you can still use your fingers instead of it being like here and then being a little bit more restricted. So I love these, especially if you live in a cold climate. Now, it's still pretty warm here where I am, so I can't really wear this at the moment, but I think I am going to wear this shirt so much. I just love how it forms to my body. So let me show you the full outfit. All right, here is the full outfit. I love this outfit. I feel like it's the most dressy, casual outfit. I feel like I could wear this to brunch. I could wear this really to so many different places. If I was wearing more comfortable shoes, I could wear this out shopping. I do have a tag kind of tucked in right here, so it's kind of making a funny little mark, like shape right there, but I love this so much. The pants are rigid, so I went I sized up in these. However, I don't think I necessarily needed to. Like, as you can see, especially back here, there is some gapping, but these are in their curve love. I wanted something that was just a little bit looser. I'm kind of in that, like, comfort stage right now where I, I want to be comfortable. And I don't want to be so constricted in my clothing. So I size up a little bit. Now they are a little bit more of a boot cut, which I think is super flattering. And I find being a little bit more curvy that that could be a little challenging because I like to emphasize my curves. And sometimes when I go with like a straight leg jean like this, it can kind of almost hide my curves or kind of make me feel a little bit more like straight. But I like these, I like these a lot. And I can see myself wearing this shirt a ton this winter like i said i love that it has the thumb holes it's really warm and it is the softest material ever i got the shirt in a size i'll have everything linked down below like my sizing and everything but i got the shirt in a size medium like i said abercrombie is pretty spot on with the sizing every time i order amazing love 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 this i'm in the same jeans different heels but a different top I did not think I was gonna like this top. I loved it on the website when I got it. I was like, ooh, I don't know. It's a little too formal for me. Now, I probably would pair this with some sort of like leather leggings or jeans type of vibe, just for a little bit more of a like a formal look. It, it is quite a formal shirt and it has a split hem right here, so not the the holes for the thumb but it's split so you can still kind of cover your hands be warm but like be able to use your hands fully and then of course you can like scrunch it up gives you lots of room for that but i love this top what i also love about it is that it's cropped so i can tuck it into my jeans or my pants without having the bunch in the pants or jeans so i love that because i like to tuck my items in i feel like it just really helps with the items kind of clinging to your body and your shape and and looking a little bit more polished and put together so let me show you the full outfit like i said i don't know that i would pair this shirt with these jeans not to say i wouldn't but i feel like i would prefer this sweater with like leather leggings or black jeans or something that is a little less, I don't know. I feel like that would make it feel softer. This is the look with this top. I love this top. I'm actually very, very surprised at how much I love this top. It is so beautiful and such nice quality. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can get you a better look. You can see the quality. It's just so beautiful. I love it. I really like this cropped 
collared what's this called shirling i feel like it's called shirling uh, material sweater i feel like this is such a good sweater to just wear around the house i could see myself wearing this a ton once it eventually gets cold here and when we go on colder trips i just think it's so cozy it almost feels like i have a i'm like wrapped up in a throw blanket but that it's just on my body and it's not like annoying and i don't have to fix it you know what i mean so i paired this with just a pair of leggings and i saw this the high top socks not really my thing i am short so cutting off my leg like that is not ideal but i wanted to kind of show you guys because i know that this is like a very popular way to wear these birkenstocks now i probably would not wear them like that i did get the birkenstocks and i think i got them a little too big <laughs> because i was reading that they might run small so i think i'm gonna have to exchange these if i decide to keep them i don't know if i love them i feel like i'm I don't know. What's funny is back in high school, these were so popular. I had a pair, a few pairs from American Eagle and I wore those things until like the backside, this part was like flat. Like there was no sole to the shoe. I wore them every single day with every single outfit that I could. I absolutely loved them. My friends and I would share our clothes and share the shoes. In fact, I sent this to one of my high school best friends, a picture of the Birkenstocks and I was like, they're back in style <laughs> and so we were just laughing about that but um i don't know i don't know that i love them as much as i did in high school but i could definitely see wearing them casually i just feel like they're kind of pricey just to like let me know do you guys like these what are, what are your thoughts on the birkenstock clog shoes and um should i keep them let me know. I am like sweating over here. I get a sweat stash when I sweat. <sighs> Changing all these clothes is sweaty. So I do love this top. I would probably want to crop it underneath like my bra or just keep it tucked like this. But I think it is such a cozy, cozy little sweater. I love it. It's very, very comfortable. <laughs> I pulled out my puffy coat that I bought last year from Abercrombie because I just wanted to see that if I kind of went a little more simple with the outfit and kind of toned it down a little bit and wasn't trying to do too much with the Birkenstocks if I'd like them better and I think I do. Let me show you. So putting on this coat, which like I said, it is from last year. I'll try to link something similar. I think they do have, if not the same coat, something very similar this year, but I really kind of like the Birkenstocks in this kind of fashion. I feel like I'm not trying to do too much with the Birkenstocks. I just am kind of casually dressed and I feel like I like that a lot more and not trying to do, like I said, too much with them. So cute. I think I can do these. I do think I'm still going to have to get a different size, but I'm kind of into this. I can definitely see where this is more cute. In our Oregon vlog, when we went to Oregon, I showed you guys this little cardigan and how I like to wear them over my shoulders. I am so into this right now. I think it's just so chic and really like polishes up an outfit. So I picked up this one. This one is a lot heavier than the other one, which I like, especially for the winter. You could put this on underneath that like big coat that I just showed and add layers to keep really warm. But what I think I'll probably do is either drape it over my shoulders like this, which I think is so cute, or you can also tie it, which I think also is so cute. Maybe put on like a long sleeve shirt underneath or a t-shirt, you know, whatever kind of climate it goes with you guys it's so cute i just i feel so like chic <laughs> okay two more items that i have you want to come and say hi ready looks so cute in all these outfits <laughs> i'm i am bur breaking a sweat i want to go on a date oh cute <laughs> so i got this houndstooth little i don't know what technically this would be but i got this houndstooth little lightweight i don't know what you call it, just like a button-up shirt 
And at first I, I didn't love it, but I didn't return it in time to be honest. So I feel like I can make a cute outfit out of this or what I was thinking is to do something similar like the sweaters, especially with it not being as hot here, kind of just throwing it over for that kind of maybe. I don't love this one. This one here is a boucle little jacket a little more formal, which could work for like lunches and things. Let's see. I think I would prefer this one to be a little bit more oversized as well, but those are all the items that I picked up recently from Abercrombie and then the Birkenstocks. Let me know what was your favorite. I'm trying to really fine tune my wardrobe and elevate it in small little ways with adding like the sweaters and adding those extra little pieces. I'm definitely more of a casual girl, but I'm trying to really kind of find that line where I can be a little bit more put together, but also still have my casual style and kind of figuring that out and sharing it with you guys. So let me know what was your favorite and I will have everything linked down below with all of my sizing as always. And let me know what was your favorite. You ready? <laughs> yeah, sorry, morning coffee. Are you gonna have fun? Yeah. Okay. We always have fun together and we get to I know, but antique shopping really isn't your thing. I love antique shopping. You do? Kind of. You just don't like being there for four hours going. Yeah, ahead. I'm a, like a, you want to touch everything. Mm-hmm, and look at all the home decor. Oh, you you like, like, like vintage clothes. Vintage clothes are just old knick-knacky things. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to see what you pick out. Yes, I'm very excited. I'm not looking at like furniture or anything. I am. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm taking Zach antique shopping today. We're gonna go to one of my favorite stores locally. It's kind of like an antique store slash thrift store kind of, maybe not thrift store prices, but they have, I don't know. It like gives me thrift store vibes, but it's not a thrift store. Well, call it new? Call it new. Yeah, it's like an antique, not even antique. Antique thrift store. Yeah, like the front that? part of it is a little bit of collectibles. A, collectibles. Maybe yeah, that's a the bunch of collectibles. Yes. Yes. So we're gonna head out and go do that. And generally I go on my own. It's like my me time. I like to film for you guys and go get my coffee and spend a couple hours and walk the, the aisles like ten times. But today we're taking Zach and seeing what he's gonna pick out. You ready? You ready? Let's go. You cannot go antique shopping without coffee. Look how handsome he is. He's so cute. What did you get? I got the, the one I usually get back in the day. Ice quad espresso, two pumps white mocha, light soy. Oh, you usually just get it in a Venti cup? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I am ready. It's beautiful out. It's October. It's the middle of October and it's 86 degrees out right now. Oh, it's perfect. It's so perfect. We're not even in the store yet and Zach's already looking through the 90% off. Do you find anything good? That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. I like that like Aztec and I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you that's do. Right word, but Aztec look. It's a bit like 90s, like yeah. the frame and stuff. I love 90s vibes. Yeah, you do. We're 90s kids. Yeah, we are. Kind of. Grew up in the 90s. Grew up in the 90s. You want to find some vintage t-shirts? Yeah. <laughs> I love vintage like t-shirts. I don't know why I like cups, like glasses. Not that we buy them, but yeah. I like looking at them. And then, Whoa, I think this books. is new. Real, uh, yeah, books too. Books. Vintage I, books. Yeah. I'm really into like... I'm into like the vintage art books right now. Like if it was not, if Brainy didn't have our house, I'd have cups like this. <laughs> yeah, like just a mixture of. Cause there's a whole set of them. I would do that. Yeah. I think if you decorated the house, it would be really eclectic. Yeah, I, I'm not a, I am not a hoarder though. So it would be very specific, but yeah. Yeah. Be... Well, I don't think eclectic means hoarder. 
Okay. Like it wouldn't be cluttered. Eclectic just means like you mix in lo like lots of different styles and have oh, like okay. funky and quirky, which I think quirky. is totally you. Like this, I'd serve some chips and salsa on this. <laughs> yeah. I just, I <laughs> it is funny. Like, do you feel like you wish our house had a little more? No, I love it. Okay, good. I'm glad. Because our style is completely oh, different. This is See, this is See a seven piece set. 15 bucks. If I lived in Vegas or had like a poker room, I might, I would do that. Yeah. That's very themed. Yeah. I like the like Miller Lite, Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think those are cool. In like a, like just like a bar space, I think would be cool if you had some vintage. Ooh, this is cute. This little pottery. Have you shown this place before? I think like clips of me inside of it, but not yeah. like totally. I like this one because it's like we said earlier, antiques, collectibles, yeah, and just thrift store too. It's kind like of yeah, bit, you know, just... but they are like vendors. I think that have their stuff in here, so it is like antique setup. I feel like you get unique stuff. Like I love Merchant Square with you, but a lot of those booths are like very very like antique and like very uh curated curated yeah here's just like a hodgepodge and i like this better. yeah for me I yeah just, i like a hodgepodge of stuff i don't like as curated i get the point of it i feel like it's harder to shop in hodgepodge if you're just starting out like if you're just starting out antique shopping i would go to more curated places like boutique style yeah. because it makes it more simple until you really get to know your style Ooh, there's a oil painting up there can you reach that? What one? Up there, that one. You see it? This one right here? Yeah. How much? 18 bucks. What? $18? Is this, how do you tell if it's like legit? Well, you can kind of feel and then turn it around. But not just like a reproduction or a reprint. Well, oh my gosh. Eight by ten. The frame alone is kind of cool. Wow, eighteen bucks. Do you like railroads? See stuff like this. Yeah, bucks. I saw that. Like, Here, do show you it. like railroads or trains? I know they actually have some good stuff. I saw another one over there. See, I like stuff. I don't know why. Zach is very desert. Desert vibes. Mm -hmm. I don't like I don't like the frame on this. But you could paint it. That's easy. But the I don't know it doesn't fit in our house, but if I had like a I don't know. It's cool. But it, it's, it's a vibe, yeah. I feel like. Okay, this is actually pretty cute. This is nine dollars. Oh, it's blue. I thought it was black. But that is cool. That's very heavy duty too. The thing about this is you gotta really slow down and look. That's why I take a long time, but Zach, I know. I, you're so quick. I like oh, seeing, but I'd be out of this room already. I know, another one. Like the little Crocs. We bought a brand new one of these a little while ago. But this is like. Oh, that's like a legit old one. A legit. They still have the box for it and everything. I know. Like How much is it? 45 bucks now. Oh, I knew they were like 65, but still like... like for this size probably. It's oh, okay. But it's cool. It's, it looks like original box. Yeah, that's really cool. For that one. But... Yes. Retro vibes. Yeah. <laughs> 90s, 80s, 90s. You love. Should we get a bread maker? No. I think it'd be fun to make bread. Oh, okay. If you're serious. Ooh, I like these for like little pencil holders like polish them up oh yeah eight dollars those are cool yeah. you found the clothes yeah <laughs> i might not get anything i just it's fun to find vintage clothes it's hard to find vintage clothes but they have like a whole all kinds of stuff they have clothes they have furniture they have Trinkets, they have everything here. I feel like a lot of things are probably already picked through. Picture. You never know. Hey, Cardinals jersey, how much is that? 18 bucks. Oh, wow. 
This little light is cute. I think they call that like a Tiffany light. It's really pretty, 65, little floor lamp or task light. Also, I found this table over here. Look how cute this little table is. Love it. Look at this little, oh, yeah. isn't this gorgeous? It's 229. Look at the, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I feel like you could even put this as like a side table or a table in a room. Yeah, I like Isn't that gorgeous? I, I actually really like that the marble is like worn too. Patina is a better word. And then this mirror, I think, must go with it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That is so sure. beautiful. If you get that with it for $229, that seems like a good deal. I know, right? Or not, it just doesn't seem outrageous. That's what I'm saying. I love Call It New because they oh, have. Oh, yeah, with mirror. <gasps> wow. And you could separate it too. So then you get two pieces instead of just the one. Can you pull out the drawer and see? Oh my gosh, I wish we had a place for it. This is so cool. Wow. Looks like it must have been just like a dresser vanity. I don't know. Stunning. I love that. It's pretty cute. It's $40. I mean, that's probably less than I would get it online at like a regular store. But I think it's kind of cute, like a little fall. I have two bags, one's the cam for the camera, one's my regular bag. But, I don't know. Do you hate it? It's fine. Very oversized, I think it's men's, which is the look, right? More oversized. You can do like little hair bands right here and it'll kind of hold this up. I'm gonna think about it. But I think it's cute. I'm not like the sportiest person, but I think these little vintage sports coats are so cute. If you're from Chicago. <laughs> you're from Chicago, but dang it, I like it. I just don't think I'd ever wear it. It looks cute on you. I love it. If it was like an Arizona one or something to do with Oregon, I would say get it. I know. This drum is actually pretty cool. I think this could be cool as like a little side table. Oh dang, it's um, $400. It is. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. This is really pretty too. Like the Tiffany, I think these are called, oh yeah, Tiffany style. I don't know why they're called Tiffany style, but I knew that. You're so smart. <laughs> are you having fun? Yeah, I am just- A little it. overwhelmed. Yeah, but it's fun. There's just so much to see at this one. Yeah, it's true. It has a lot of stuff. It's like, is there, oh, if you look down, like there's just booth after booth after booth after booth. So it gets a bit overwhelming. Are you looking for anything in particular? No, just anything that catches my eye. Yeah. You gotta show me stuff that you think is really neat. What you have been. Yeah. Oh, this is actually really cute. 30, $32, silver plated box. I feel like for your jewelry or like on a bedside table, little things like this is so cute. Even like these little things. I think these are like clawfoot tub feet. Oh really? Clawfoot, I think, I'm not sure. Does it say? Cast iron leg, oh yeah, leg. But I think you put those on a clawfoot tub, but I'm not totally sure. They have a lot of them though. So if we need clawfoot or like to make a clawfoot tub, we know where to come to get some legs. Okay, I found this little silver like bud vase and it's different. I haven't seen anything like this. I might get this. This dealer is 20 or 10% off. Let's see, they're 222. Oh, they're 10% off. That's really cute. I like that for a bedside table or something. So cute. Oh, and they still have this. You guys remember when I bought the other one to this? They still have the other one. I might need that for a client project. And that little black high gloss vase is good too. Okay, I really like this. I like to find unique different pieces and I've been into silver lately. Also really good for a gift. If you wanted to, you know, get your friend a gift. These are like little cool, unique things. I'm gonna get this. Look at it, isn't that cute? It's a little bed vase. 
Kind of yeah. looks like an urn, but... I was going to say that, but I didn't want to say it. I was like, that kind of looks like an urn. I love it, though. I think once you put flowers in there, you think I should get it or no? It's 10% off 21. Do you like it? Or is it too, like, too much of an urn? If you like it, if you have a vision. I, I just think it'd be such a cute... Was, that's what it looks like. I did, too. But I think with little flowers in there, it could be really pretty. Like for a bedside table. Hmm. Maybe I'll think about it. Now you have me second guessing. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a shoe rack for your shoes. Is it? I don't know, but I think it looks like a shoe rack. Let me see. Oh, a ribbon cabinet. Doesn't it look kind of like it could be a shoe rack? Yeah, a little bit. I love this table. How much? 300, 297. It'd be a really good console table. Yeah. Like that Park County one, I don't know why. Oh that yeah, that's cool. cool. This crank case service. Yeah. Some of the, uh, that official, that blue one up there. Oh yeah. I do like, I saw it at, actually at the other antique store, it said Mantiques, <laughs> like with Wait, the- did it say that? It said, it was a sign like one of these and it said Mantiques. I don't remember that. And it just was like, it was kind of cute cause it's just like a little more masculine things. What do you guys think about pictures? I always kind of wonder about these people in the pictures. Like, look at this cute little family just at the beach, having a beach day. I don't know. I think they're cool. I mean, I don't really like love them for my house, but I think they're cool to look at. Yeah, are we gonna have a garage full of signs? No. <laughs> just kidding. If you, you want it. Um, 50 bucks. 30. Oh, okay. This is cute though. Old frame. Wood frame. You can get a mirror put in there. Oh, I like this. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. An old Pennzoil shell. I don't like love the bottom or like the wood piece, but like I love the idea of... Barrel shop stool. That's cool. But around, like, if you had a little garage, or like just for, you don't like this piece? The roller. Yeah, I mean, I know that you have to. I just wish they would have cut it the same size. Yeah. How much is that? You, you redo it. Yeah, cut it smaller. That just looks like it was added. Yeah. I could redo that. Once again, what do you think it is? Um, 110. 80 bucks. 80 bucks? That seems cool. I get why they went upside down. I, I don't know. It's cool. I, yeah. I think that's really cool. Yeah, these little areas that have like the old gas cans and the old work, like the tools and stuff are, I don't know why they're kind of my favorite. I feel like you can find like really cool primitive stuff and reuse it in different ways. Like these kind of things back here, you could use this as a candle holder but it's not for sale. Why is it that everything <laughs> that you really like is always not for sale? Anyway, so cool. I love this kind of stuff. They have the sign here as well, Mantiques, with all of like the garage kind of stuff. See, I love this kind of stuff. Like, look, you could have this in like a little office. Are you kidding? Like is it on top of books or something? Yeah, I just love that kind of stuff. It's so cool. Something like this though in a farmhouse. Yeah, that could be cool. Like if you had a farmhouse vibe. This couple right here is such a vibe. How stinking cool is that? Oh, I just I like Arizona themed stuff. The cafe. Yeah, Crackers. you do. Oh, this is that looks like you. You're like 90s desert. I like it. Look at this chest. I love this. This would make such a gorgeous bar <laughs> in like a living room space. You could just like flip that up, put your glassware, your drinkware, put a piece on top. I would say we were good together. I would say we 
have fun.